Greetings. Today I'm doing a video on straightening an image in raw therapy, also using the crop tool. Before I start, thank you to the people that subscribe to the channel and your comments. It's a good encouragement. Also, others have done videos on the crop tool, but I'm going to go about this a little bit differently. We see here the image I have, and one of the things that comes to mind for myself is what am I going to do with this image? Am I just taking the image to give it to somebody or am I going to print this image? What aspect ratio am I going to use? What size print will I print? If I just open up the top here, we can see here, this is an A4 size paper and we can see I've added text here. So this is the crop that I wanted. I also know the aspect ratio of the camera. I want to keep that because it fits nicely within the paper here also by scaling I can fit the image within this paper creating a, a nice even border and leaving room for text as you can see here. Brought the image into GIMP, created the files here. If we look up the top here, this is the size of an A3 plus paper. The image that I had was very close to the borders. So the image here that I pasted on top of the file that I created for the A3 plus size paper almost fit to that width without changing the pixels per inch or any of the resolution. So if I come to the next image, we can see here, this is an A4 size paper. And again, because of the aspect ratio that I kept, it fits nicely within the paper and creating a border that I wanted. So deciding on what we want to do with our images, this is not a recommendation for people how they crop the images, but what I have in mind, what I want to do with the images. So here, in this image, I wanted to keep the aspect ratio. So now I'm just going to open up another image. If you've watched my video on the Kodak Fine Art Paper Smooth, you'll recognize this image. And here we can see that it's crooked. I'm going to use the straightening to adjust for that. I've used this a few times and sometimes it doesn't give me the best results and I'm going to show you a workaround that I use for myself. So I'm just going to hit auto match just to give it a bit of a change there. If I come to the straightening, I'll just activate that by left clicking. And I'll scroll in. We can see the little widget it gives us on the screen. And I want to come into this section. And I'll left click and just drag that out. And try to make it as straight as possible using the beam there for my guide. We can see there it's made an adjustment. And when I've used this sometimes, it may take me several times that it's not quite right. So I, if I come to the crop tool, and we can see here, it gives us our bounding box. And if I pull that down, scroll in, I can also use this as a reference to see how straight it is along the top edge. Where we have the crop tool on the left, if I scroll down where it says lens geometry, if we come down where it says rotate, we can see where the change has been made. So if I just step back, we can see the degrees here where it's on zero. If I come back to the crop, we can see the rotation that it's given us. And if we need to make further adjustments, we can just subtract or add if I need to adjust a little bit using the bounding box for a reference. So I'll just remove the crop there. I'm just going to choose another image here. I may want to use this for video or another purpose. So if I want to use this in a video and I want to have it fit nicely within the video aspect ratio, I can just come to the crop tool where it says as image, leaving the locked aspect ratio there. I can come down to 16 by nine and now I have my crop for my video. So we can see in the crop tool here, we have the left, top, width and height. Also, we have the option to select. If I uncheck that and I want to select, and now it gives us our little symbol. If we look up here for crop selection, we can see now the symbol is on the picture. So if I drag that out, and now it gives us our selection. Also, if I hold down shift, left click, and now I can drag that around while holding down control also the left mouse button. So I'm just going to undo that. So we have many options 
when we're selecting our ratios, depending on if we want to create a crop for ourselves using the selection and unchecking the lock ratio, or selecting what we want out of these, like, like a 16 by 17 or a 16 by 10, depending on what I have in mind from an image. So I'll just select one more image here. If I come to the crop tool, and this time I have in mind for something a little bit different. When we activate the crop tool, we can see the guide type and it's set to frame. So I'm just going to set that to none. And also, if we come up to the top, we have the particular background that's theme based. We have black here. I use the middle gray and we have the white for our background. So if I come back to the base theme and I make a crop, and we can see here it's still there in the background and we can see the adjustments. I'll just hold down shift and we can move that crop around and we can see what's in the background there. So if I change it to middle gray, now we don't have that in the background. So I'll select another ratio here, go one by one. I'm going to select the guide type, rule of thirds. And I want to have the water droplet just above the line where we see here for the rule of thirds. So I'll just start to crop in, start to adjust, pull that up, let me center that a little bit better. If I remove the guides and now I have that crop for one by one. So I'll go back to the as image and I'll do the same crop and I'll just turn that on again for the guide for the rule of thirds and same again, I want the water droplet in the center just above this line. So again, I'll adjust my crop, pull up. Everybody's gonna be different how they edit their images. So I have my crop here, but I want to have this a little bit more centered so I'll come up to the guide again and I'm going to choose the rule of diagonals. And now I can make a finer adjustment here using this as a reference. So I'll just start to pull to the left and I'll pull it down. Just making fine adjustments. And now that I turn that off, have that centered using the as shot ratio. So back to the image that I straightened up. I want to open the crop tool to center this image using this as a reference point for the crop. If I come back to the guide type, if I come down to harmonic means, after straightening the image, now I can center this using the opening of the end of the pier as my reference point. So I'll just drag that in. So now that I've centered that up using the end of the pier, I can just remove the guide types. So that's a look at the straightening and the crop tool in raw therapy and the options that we have in the program. Peace be unto you.